Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Lost in translation. Being lost in a translation, in the translation of what? Empathy. The sense of possibility is not a sentimental cemetery for cuddly toys, but the productive counterpart of the sense of reality, a provisional, a dance, a celebration, a gesture, a love, a step. Singularities that no cartographer can transfer to a line. No place of successful transition, where one turns into the other without still being that other. Nearby does not mean the abolition of distance, but a space in which a beyond of hegemonic speaking could be possible. I.e., in all likelihood not fulfilled, but nevertheless active as a processual, reciprocal option. Reciprocity is never free of hegemony and never present in the secondness of writing. Being lost in a translation is a planetarium in which a constellation of points of light suggests the promise of a relationship, although the darkness between the points of light is what makes that constellation visible, even in the light of the full moon.